Growing up, I was just fascinated with movies, you know. I, my dad's a big movie nerd. I remember being 11 years old and watching Memphis Bell and just thinking it was the coolest thing ever. It really shaped how I view film and what, what I dictate in life, so I'm really grateful for that. For a long time, I really struggled with what I wanted my final project to be about, what I wanted the culmination of everything I've learned from this program to be how I wanted to really show my skills. And it took me a while to really figure that out. And I bounced around a couple of ideas and even started some and I just wasn't happy with the way they were turning out. So I decided, I mean, with this being a, the next step in my career as a filmmaker, I should probably pay homage to what made me want to get into filmmaking in the first place and that being stop motion animation I mean it's really where I found a love for filmmaking as a kid and really what inspired a lot of the decisions I make today creatively. I would say 2010, 2012 is when I first discovered stop motion animation you know I was just a little kid on YouTube I was obsessed with Lego so I was trying to find everything Lego I could watch and I came across this video of these little Lego stormtroopers just walking around talking. I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I was hooked instantly. You know, I watched videos on how to make stop motion, how to edit stop motion. Just, I was invested immediately. I wanted to do that. I wanted to make something like that. It was, I think my first real inspiration creatively in anything. I've never felt the urge to create like that before. The history of Lego stop motion or brick film is something truly fascinating, you know. It starts in 1975 in Denmark with the Journey to the Moon and it just takes off from there, you know. There's the Magic Portal in 85 was amazing, you know. It's revolutionary in my opinion, something nobody had ever seen up until that point. And it just goes to show why film is one of, if not the best, one of the best mediums for art, because you can just, it's so limitless. You, stop motion is what I think is so great about film. There are truly no boundaries. If you have a story to tell and you have an idea on how you want to tell that story, there's nothing holding you back. You can do it in so many different ways. In conclusion, the great thing about Lego Stop Motion is that both elements are limitless. You know, Legos and filmmaking, they're controlled only by your hunger and drive to create. So that's why I think it's such an amazing genre and I hope more people look into it. And I just wanted to give props to what inspired me to continue on this journey.